Hey, how y'all doing? It's Sharonda and hey, how y'all doing? And today I'm here to discuss a couple of books, which was written, uh, which is a multi, sorry, which is a multi author series. Uh, and the name of that series is 420 Day. So let's get into this thing, shall we? Okay, so the two books I'll be talking about, um, I'll start off with the one I was actually uh, asked to read and review which is Smokescreen by Kimmy Farrell, okay? I don't know what number <laughs> it is in the series, but yeah. So um, this book revolves around stories that incorporate uh, 420 uh, day, you know, we day. So the couples in these books are, you know, written around um, that theme. Um, so in this book, we have Raphael and, um, Ashlyn, who have been having like this off and on long-term relationship since they were like in college, since he like got her, you know, she was drunk one night in college and it kind of like went from there. She has always had a crush on him. Also, also, um, he is her best friend's oldest brother, older brother. So you know they had been having like this off and on but things never really like popped off because of different things that were going on in their life you know from time to time so the last time they, they just could not work it out um you know it was just like ashlyn had a she's a a sawmill like she does you know those like the wine parents she she works for her family's um um what do y'all call them damn things y'all she works for her family's vine and you know uh vine yard and stuff like that so you know they sell wine and stuff like that black owned wine business and you know right now she's that but um when her and Raphael had this last uh you know breakup where they just couldn't get it together she had had an offer to go overseas to study you know to you know up her craft or whatever and Raphael um kind of like put, not kind of like but he pushed her away because he was into football. He was like football, whatever. And then he had an injury and, you know, the depression and, you know, the anger and all that other stuff. So it, he, instead of just like, kind of like taking his issues, he felt like take, instead of taking his issues out on Ashlyn, he, you know, told her it would be best for um, her to go take this opportunity that she ha has been offered. So when we go inside of the book, these two have not seen each other in five years. Um, Raphael returns. He is he own he now owns like a dispensary, and um, Ashlyn is like head of her family, not like you know works for her family business or whatever. Um, so these books in these series are pretty short. They're not they're novella length books. And for the most part, I really did like um, Smoke Screen. Um, I think at times it was too wordy. We were a lot inside of Ashlyn's head inside of the story. Because with Ashlyn, because that uh, Raphael pushed her away, you know, the last time that they tried to make a situation work, um, she's just kind of like moving with caution um in this story she's just like you know i don't want to like us to pick up something again and then boom next thing you know it's like oh well you know you know let's go our separate ways again so she's moving with caution whereas Raphael was like mm -mm, that's all over no more caution no more running from each other you know ain't no nothing's coming up in between us or whatever you know he's just like we're going to be together or whatever but um what brings these two together is like i said um, Raphael owns a marijuana di uh, dispensary, whatever. So he has this idea um, to kind of like fuse uh, his, you know, his strain of weed or whatever with the wine. So it's like wine, uh, wine, weed infused wine. So he gets this idea and he wants to um, go into, you know, to have a collaboration with Ashland's uh, family's uh, wines or whatever. But he's also using this situation as a way to get closer to uh, Ashlyn again. Because despite this kind of like back and forth that these two are having, it's very well aware 
on page that they still love each other. But like I said, Ashlyn is moving with caution and Raphael is like, nah, girl, we, we gonna get this shit going. So, and what I would have loved more to see is the actual, um, the process of them, um, infuse, you know, doing this wine, uh, this weed wine infusion. I would have loved to like seen that on page. Like she gives us a recipe in the back of the book on how to make your own um, weed infused wine, which I thought that was pretty damn cool. I'm not a smoker, but um, if I was, I would definitely try that. But I do love me some damn wine. So I was just like, maybe maybe <laughs> but um yeah i i ended up giving this one three stars because you know because of the things that i mentioned early i did love the tension um well it really wasn't much tension i love kind of like the banter that went on between Raphael and ashley you could tell that they were very much friends before they decided to you know start sleeping together and, you know sometimes when you're friends and you start sleeping around with each other that kind of like murkies the water a little bit whatever but these two still kept really great banter between each other even though you know there's kind of like this the struggle between them of what to do or how to move forward with you know their future relationship like what is it going to be like are we going to be together as a couple or are we going to keep this shit at a friend level you know what i mean but like i said Raphael wasn't having none of that and i just love that he was always like so kind of like jealous anytime a dude came around her like sniffing he was just like mm, get your ass out of here that is mine okay that's my lady back up you know what i'm saying so yeah for the most part i did enjoy the book i love their like i said i love their relationship you know even like after kind of like this this last breakup and they hadn't seen each other in a long time i love that they were able to like basically like keep it cute and still have this very witty you know witty sexy sensual banter with each other because let me tell you Raphael was not taking his feet off up off the gas okay he was like i'm going to like i realize i fucked up but we on our grown people time now so i want this lady <laughs> i want this lady and i'm gonna have this lady i'm gonna do what i gotta do you know? um the book is very uh well written even for a novella length book i feel like the author did exactly what she needed to do um as far as you know with the theme of what the story you know is supposed to be you know around this couple so it's really really great okay so we move on to the next book which is smoke and love by l wright okay again i don't know what number <laughs> this book is in the series but anyway in this book we have Aaliyah and spencer uh this is the older couple which is just like yes okay give me more older couples yes okay and this also incorporates uh two of my favorite families in other series that she has which is the cross uh the young and love series where we have like these siblings and then the crosses again siblings l Wright does really just just look her up her books are they're good okay so anyway in this book we have spencer cross and Aaliyah young um and what happens is we kind of like have this thing where these two kind of like you know um they knew each other in college spencer kind of like saved Aaliyah one night <laughs> she went to this party or whatever off, off campus um and um you know got a little messed up and he had to come get her or whatever and it was always you always kind of like had this feeling that you know spencer always felt for Aaliyah, and Aaliyah did the same but Aaliyah came from a very uh you know messed up past uh she uh her mother was you know i'm sorry y'all i feel like there's something on my eyebrows but um <laughs> she uh you know her mother was um not a good mom and you know it girl just ain't had a good family life growing up until she came across the youngs her aunt victoria um and victoria kind of like took uh Aaliyah in and and, and kind of like raised her along with them badass uh kids that her and uh 
her damn husband had because them kids was bad okay um <laughs> so but Aaliyah was always kind of like older than whatever so she's like the older cousin but in this story when we go inside of the book Aaliyah is her marriage fucked up you know she marries to college sweetheart or whatever which she really didn't want to do but she ended up doing any away because that night that spencer saved her she realized that she was having feelings for old boy and she was kind of like running from her feelings you know that she was kind of like developing for spencer and yeah so when we go inside of this story and child spencer was pissed he was like okay you know what that's your life whatever but anyway here we are in the present and her marriage is kind of like blowing the fuck up. Um, and she is in the um, process of getting a divorce. Situation between her husband, her and her husband is not salvageable, okay? Um, they do have like an older daughter or whatever, um, but yeah. So I love this story. It was really, really cute. It was, um, I love that, um, again, novella length book. I do believe all the books in this series are novella length. Um, but I did enjoy this story. I love the chemistry between Aaliyah and Spencer. Spencer, like I said, you always knew it was there because Spencer has always been in love with Aaliyah, always wanted to like, you know, make her, you know, part of his life. But Aaliyah, you know, with her past and, you know, things like that, she just couldn't get it together at that time. So when we go inside of the story, they run into each, each other again because Spencer is, um, what is he doing? He's like helping his niece out one night. She's having like this date, dating, just kind of like, you know, the speed dating type setup, whatever. And she calls Spencer over to help, like set, to set him up as well with other women or whatever. And Spencer is just not having it. Spencer is just like, mm, this ain't my vibe. But Spencer loves his family, is always helping his uh, family out and stuff like that. So, you know, even though he wasn't down with it, you know, he sat there for a little while until he just couldn't take it no more. Um, and then Aaliyah comes in because Aaliyah's daughter actually cooked for the event or whatever. Um, and these two kind of like reconnect after that. It's so funny because uh, Spencer um, kind of like invests in these different businesses or whatever, but he, he invests in this weed business as well. Um, and Aaliyah is not much of a smoker, drinker, anything. So, um, yeah, so there's that. But the story is really great because you see, like, it's kind of like a second chance kind of like story, right? You see these two who haven't, like, they they get along or whatever. They still have a friendship or whatever because actually Aaliyah was Spencer's realtor or whatever, you know, in these businesses that he was investing in and stuff like that. They still had like this great friendship or whatever. But you see kind of like where they get a second chance with Aaliyah going through this divorce or whatever. And 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 kind of like Aaliyah finally um, letting it be known that she has always had feelings for Spencer, but she was always running um from them spencer is very um he's it's, it's a really a sweet story you know what i mean just a sweet romantic story um because spencer was intense like you knew like he wanted to be with her but he also was kind of like you know he let her know like once you're divorced this final girl is me and you like ain't no more holding back you know what i'm saying like you know that's it or whatever and you can see like the, the the sexual the sexual tension between them like even you know what i'm saying like but he did not make his move um towards her until she was actually officially divorced or whatever there is kind of like a little kind of like a little kind of like you know tense situation when the daughter finds out and it was mostly just like the daughter being her feelings because it's just like she knew her, her father was not treating um, her mother right. And she knew that it was just time for her mother to just like, you know, which she ended up telling her, like, I'm sorry I had an attitude about finding out about you. But, you know, the daughter worked for Spencer too. Cause, so it is kind of like, you know, awkward. You find out that your mother is going to be boinking your boss. It's just like, shit, you know what I'm saying? So 
it's understandable, but she did end up apologizing to Aaliyah and Spencer, and she did tell Aaliyah, like, you know, I do understand that, you know, you were never really happy with dad or whatever, and, you know, I knew the situation between y'all just needed to end. Basically, the girl was just in her feelings or whatever, but I love that she did put on page that they did apologize. Um, but for the most part, this was a really good read. Um, I just, it, it's just a really sweet, good read. Like, there's really nothing else to say about um smoke and love and i just love getting like the uh you know the mentions of like the youngs coming in like like read that series the young and love series by her it's freaking hysterical i i, I love it okay um but yeah um yeah i mean yeah i ended up uh actually rating smoke and love four stars because I love the Youngs. I love the Crosses. Um, I I love L. Wright. I mean, it was just a really sweet, good book. I mean, there's really else nothing to say <laughs> to say about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I enjoy both books and would recommend them both. Um, I think at the end of it all, both authors did a very good job of incorporating um for 20 day into their stories. So, yeah, that is it for me. Until the next one, later days. Bye.